So last topic of this session, future prospects of management of tuberculosis is going to be delivered by my immediate senior, Dr. Randa Prashad. I don't think that he requires any investigation in Palmonaji Guru. Anyway, it's customary to introduce him. He's a director of ERAS Medical College, head of department of Palmonaji Medicine. He's ex-director of CFI. He's a direct ex-director of PP Chain Institute, Delhi. Head of Department of Respiratory Medicine. He has received BCR, BCRI Award, ex-president of ICS, NCCP. His eminent accommodation is one of the leading researchers in tuberculosis and other diseases. Thank you very much. Please welcome Dr. Randa Prashad. Thank you, uh, Dr. Nadeem and Dr. Singh, for a nice introduction. And at the outset, uh, I wish to thank the organizer. I am also one of them uh, for giving me this opportunity to share uh, some of my thoughts about what is going to be TB treatment in future. And uh, before I should start, since I am speaking in Lucknow, wherever I speak, I pay tribute to this great person who has been my mentor, Professor B.K. Khanna. And, uh, Knowledge wise, I have traveled whole of the world. I still have to get a person who was more knowledgeable than him in TB. A simple example, many of you might have been graduated and post graduated from KGMC. What Nadim is one of them. What he taught us in the final year, taught me in way back in 1973 when I was in the final year. He used to taught us Dr. Sarin sir, आपका तबज्जो चाहते हैं हमारे जिसका फोटो लगाया है वो हम लोगों को थर्ड ईयर में केजीएमसी में पढ़ाया करते थे हाउ टू मैनेज ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट टीवी जब ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट टीवी का कोई एमडीआर का नाम नहीं था कुछ नहीं था और मेरे से अक्सर वो पूछा करते थे यार क्या नया आया राजेंद्र प्रसाद तो मैं कहता था सर कुछ भी नया नहीं आया जो आपके जो बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स है दैट इज स्टिल रिमेन द सेम only few drugs and few new names have come. So I just pay tribute to him, he's no more. And uh, so of course, these are my institute which already they have said, currently I'm working in ERA. You know, when I talk about tuberculosis, I always say it's a curable disease. To me, it is 100% curable disease. May it be a sensitive TB, you see this X-ray, cured may it be even drug resistant TB, if you, pro if you give, give a good regimen, it is, but you know the treatment is very prolonged. Treatment might have some adverse drug reactions, those are the issues, but it is quite curable disease. But it is very unfortunate that last year in India around 5 lakh people died with tuberculosis and the reason is only I just said before uh, when Salen has spoken that not all the patients of tuberculosis in our fold and they are not getting the proper treatment. If, if everyone should get, this scenario will definitely going to change. And uh, you know, but I'll, uh, you know that there are, there, uh, so when you treat tuberculosis, you have got now drugs, you have just heard drug sensitive TB, you will be hearing about drug resistant TB, there is a lot of, many types of drug resistance, you know, mono, poly, MDR, pre-XDR, XDR. Somebody will define when we'll talk about the drug resistance. You know, there are drugs have been from the sanatorium era. Now drugs have been there for new cases, for retreatment cases. This is a new classification of drug group, three drugs where large number of uh, newer drugs like bedaquilin, delaminate, or repurposed drugs like uh, linezolid, clofazimine is being used in the program. So, uh, so current treatment, what I used to say, that current treatment, we have literally about four or five regimen. One is for drug sensitive TB, you have just heard. Another is uh, Mono, mono drug resistance, INH resistance, we have regimen. 
For MDR, we have a shorter regimen. Now it is all oral regimen containing vidaculin and other drugs. And then all oral longer regimen. For other MDR or pre-XDR, XDR, TB cases. And you have another regimen is BPAL. So this is all regimen is being used in India currently. That is very, that, that, that you have to be clear. What is going to be future? Future also, as you say that, still, still you say there are drug sensitive TB and they are drug resistant TB. So for drug sensitive TB, we are trying for last so many years, can we reduce the duration of drug sensitive TB? That is in our minds for last 10, 15 years, I must say. One of the study I focus in, fr in front of you is Remox trial when they have tried to use moxifloxin and other drugs and they try to reduce the duration but ultimately what Remox trial has said uh, and uh, that, that six months duration is still remain, the that is year about 2014 and 15, that was the study. So from them people are trying to uh, to revolutionize the treatment of tuberculosis, especially reducing the duration and uh, so, but you know, last year there has been a good research I must say in which they have demonstrated that you can reduce this to four months by using what is known as rifa, rifapentin and other drugs. So there has been studied, I will not go into details because already we are running late and I will, I will finish little early also, in which you, they, they have used 8 weeks of similar drug what you are using for drug sensitive TB, mind it, and then 8 weeks of another arm, there was 8 weeks of rifapentin, high dose, then INH, pyrogenamide and ethambutal, and then 9 weeks of rifapentin and INH. And then the third was 8 weeks of rifapentin, H and Z and moxifloxin including. So this is what, what, what is known as rifapentin and mox and then 9. So about 17 weeks, literally 4 months. And what they have published that it is as good as 6 months of giving the drugs what you used to give even today. So the rifapentin uh, and mox regimen was non-inferior and was just as effective as standard treatment. That was their conclusion in their study. And this was published uh, say in 20, last year with New, New England Journal of Medicine. And uh, even based on this study, WHO has uh, revised their guideline for drug sensitive tuberculosis in which uh, in 20 just a few months back and in that guideline they are talking about this regimen also four months of rifapentin and moxifloxin and then in children and adolescents they are also talking that in a certain situation you can use the same regimen what, what we are using for six months, you can use for four months. So this is a new, I mean WHO had just issued, but I think I was, I was discussing with Dr. Sareen and Dr. Sajdeva, who is a, who, who is a part of, I mean, he is a part of union now, he is a leader in the union in Southeast Asia and I, I, I respect Dr. Sareen as an, a national leader for TB control or TB elimination program, as I was discussing with them, is still government of India has not, I mean, cleared this regimen. I think the time will come, I hope they will discuss about it and they will say that what is, uh, how, when it will be implemented. So this is not yet implemented, that what I am trying to, this is not yet implemented, you have students are showing me, that you have written it So. So that is, that, is, that is the position. Then we come to the drug register. This is about the drug sensitive TB. 
what about then the drug resistant tb you know there are many new drugs there are many new drugs you know in the pipeline time will not permit me to get in every detail but we with those new drugs there has been large number of studies going on one of the study i just said is genix study it is all like b pal study with the different dose schedule of the uh, of the linezolid and uh, they said that duration is again for 26 weeks about 6 months you can see and uh, and in this and this study was recently published again in new england journal of medicine and which in is bedaculin pitomanid and linezolid regimen for drug resistant tuberculosis and they say that uh, even using for 26 weeks even less doses of linezolid can be effective in more than 90% of the cases so that's the what is genex study is talking then there are many more studies like tb practical study in which uh, bpal along with the another drug they are trying to add is the moxi or clofazamine and duration is 6 months so but one thing what you are saying duration is what we have dreamt long back duration is slowly and slowly is being reduced and uh, this is a uh, then then there are many more studies are going on like in india large number of studies there, there are many centers they are doing it in which they have got this bpmz linus bedaculin pretermanid moxifloxacin parazenamide again for 6 months what i am trying to what i am trying to convince you all i'll say i'll take little less time because i see the worry on the face of dr ved although this conference was started little late but we are trying to control the time as an organizing chairman this is my first duty to control the time so so what i am trying to say what we are seeing that with these study i wrote in this editorial uh, about uh, in 20 in 2020 uh, after reading all the articles are we moving towards development of universal drug regimen my hunch is yes maybe in my lifetime it may happen maybe in next four year and what do you mean by this universal drug regimen universal drug regimen means uh, that one regimen for every shot of tuberculosis that is the future thinking maybe one regimen you choose with all these new and repurposed drug maybe 3 months for drug sensitive tb we have already got about 4 months of treatment 3 months for drug sensitive maybe 6 months for mdr tb maybe 9 months for xdr tb that is what is my thinking and what thinking is going on globally also that we are we are going we are we are going to introduce a one regimen that is known as the inversal regimen and then we wrote it was just appeared in indian journal of tuberculosis can pan tb shorter regimen be promised hope for 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 tb elimination yes i believe if the regimens can be made simplified can reduce the duration of treatment yes it is going to be hope that probably what our prime minister has dreamt that in india the tb should be eliminated rather it is end tb tb should end by 5 years early by 2025 so probably such type of innovative researches such type of future regimens what people are thinking globally and in india also will help in eliminating the tuberculosis from this country and so with these few words what i said that treatment in future you are going to have an inversal regimen i don't know when it is going to come but uh, my hunch is my feeling is maybe next 4 5 years you will see this uh, this in this country globally also so with this uh, i'll just say we have many books on tb for the especially for youngsters we have uh, i have lot of uh, interest in youtube lectures 
x-rays physical examination especially for the pg students they can they can go through whenever they sign i have a lecture on auscultation which people are forgetting bhule ja rahe hain ala log lagate hi nahi ab marij ye kehta hai sarin sahab doctor sahab ne kuch baat hi nahi kiya seedhi dawai 10 12 likh di so what i am trying to say these things uh, especially the younger ones they can go through and with this thank you very much and i am once again thank you dr bed and his entire team that for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts thank you thank you sir thank you very much for giving details of the future of tuberculosis you never know the time has come maybe one drug regimen for one month you never know time may be come thank you very much sir thank you any other question thank you sir thank you so three lectures to start the scientific feast and we conclude session 1 and probably will move to the session 2 thank you so very much last but not the least i am thankful to the organizing committee for giving me this opportunity to chair this session thank you thank you all our chairpersons and speakers for conducting a very beautiful first session now i request uh, rajendra prasad sir and ved prakash sir to kindly felicitate our uh, esteemed chairpersons and speakers by giving them mementos डॉक्टर अर्शद नदीम सर अज राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज प्लीज डॉक्टर अनिल कुमार सिंह सर